Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today it's something different that I've never done before but I kept getting asked over on my Instagram would I do this. So basically I'm just going to show my makeup room, where I do my makeup and the station and stuff and some of the products that I have and go through the drawers that I've sorted out. Um, yeah. I might show some of my brushes as well, I don't know, I'll see. Also, if I know where I got some of the stuff, I will let you know, but it's been a while now since the room is done, so I mightn't remember, so just bear with me. But if I do know, I'll let you know. So this video isn't going to be too long, just because I don't have a lot of stuff, actually. Um, probably the most I have is eyeshadow palettes and brushes. I have an all right amount. I'm not going to go through everything individually, like I'll just show you and what it is and whatever and that'll be it and then I'll move on just so it's not dragging out as well. So yeah, keep on watching and I'll show you my whole room layout um, and where I do the makeup. So basically just as you come into the room, this is what you'll see. So this whole corner here is just a makeup like I have a desk there and stuff but this is where I do my makeup. So I have the Alex drawers um, which you can get in Ikea, I suppose everyone knows. This is just my station where I play the music off of. And then on my desk, say the countertop. Oh yeah, the counter actually. This is from Ikea. It's just a plain countertop, but underneath it's just held up by two brackets. And that's it. That's all I have for the makeup counter. So that's that. And then on it, I just keep my brushes. My dirty ones and the separate one, clean ones are all here. Um, and then I have eyelashes these are the ones I'm wearing at the moment um, then in this little thing is just stuff from my camera so like the gimbal and connections and stuff like that and then over here I have two trays of glitters and pigments and stuff so that's all in there but every time I organize it it gets messed again so I just leave it like that so that's that um, the mirror was got for me from my boyfriend as a Christmas present two years ago, I think. Somewhere in Dublin, I don't know, and I don't know how much. And the ring light was another present from my brother. Um, eBay, and I think he said 80 euro, which isn't bad, and it's a good one. And then my backdrop, I just got myself. Um, it's just off of eBay, and I have it literally on a clothesline coming across my door. And that's it, that's all it's held up with. Um, and then the chair, I think, was Woody's, I think, and I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but that's basically the whole layout of it. So then in each of the drawers, I have them labelled, simple out. Um, I tan in my top drawer, like just tan stuff and mitts and stuff like that. Um, in the second one is all my skincare, so I have a load in there. Um, yeah, that's not all of it actually, there's some not in there. Then to the makeup. So in this first one I have foundations, um, set and spray, contour palettes, like back there is highlighters, bronzers and stuff like that. Um, but like the ones I always go for are probably the blush ones. Yeah, always go for the blush and the blush bronzer. Um, sometimes this, I'm, if I'm wearing very dark tan, the LA girl. Um, yeah. They would be my go-tos in this drawer. Then the next drawer, just a holy mess now, please ignore this, is my palettes. So my go-to is the Kaylee palette, the Urban Bible. And next I'd probably go for is the Jaclyn Hill one. So this one. Um, and then if I wanted really colourful looks, would be the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So they're like... Some of these are very neon, so perfect for creative looks. Um, and then my next two, like I always kind of reach for my Inglot palette. Like this is just one I've been collecting over the years. So it just has a bit of everything. And has, I think they're makeup geek in there. So that's that, but like, if I was traveling, I'd never bring this. I would definitely go for this because it has every color that you need. It has everything. It has your browns, 
and some pigments like it has everything that you could just do like actually the look that I'm wearing at the start of this is done all by this then next I don't really go for these ones anymore um, the P. Louise palette definitely one of my favorite as well like I I can't say which is my favorite but like they are they are all great like um, but definitely this is number one that I keep reaching for the main drawer then would be this one so I bought this divider on vanity collections and I found them on Instagram um, bought this divider and just you just put it together yourself so like in the first one I just have toppers brow, brow um, gels dual glue dual line the so -so contour um, cream contours and then here are concealers eye bases mascaras eyeliners and a brow gel um, just random bits in there the Stila the tree Stila eyeshadow or the liquid eyeshadows that I have and then these are all the Inglot color gel liners that I have so far so lots of more room for more and back here are just glitter liners and then the NYX um, colored liners and then powders back there so that's kind of all that's in there then here we just have lipsticks and so this is another part of the Vanity Collection divider. Um, so literally just back here I have my blush lipsticks. They're probably all I go for. I'm not mad into matte even though I do have a lot of matte lipsticks but I'm not mad into them. Um, sleek. Then I have my Inglot. A small palette with some lipsticks in that as well. The glosses. And then the lip liners are back here and just lipsticks. Yeah, no, my go-to would be these. And then in the rest of the drawer, stuff for my hair, so my hair dryer straightener and stuff, that's a mess in there. Um, and then here I have like all my creative drawers, so anything, gems, pearls, face paints, blood for Halloween, anything like that is in this drawer then. That's a holy mess, so. And then they're just for waxing and tinting that I have. So that is basically it. Um, I don't have a lot, as I said already, like literally they're in those drawers and that's it. Like there's nothing in that case. I just bought that at the start because I never used it. Um, then the brushes. Like I have a mix of everything. Like I've tried a lot. Um, so these ones were got for me at Christmas by my sister. They're this brand which I never heard of before the QKI never heard of it before but I haven't tried any of them yet um, there's loads of Inglot in here some Inglot there um, what else do I have Rebeluna Nima brushes blank canvas brushes yeah Soiva a bit of everything like I have a lot um, so I have those three pots of brushes and then I have these which I've used and are dirty so I keep them separate from these and then I have some back here and they're kind of what I use when I'm getting creative so face paints and stuff like that or it, old ones that I know I can destroy and if they do get destroyed it's not a big deal and then I just have my brush cleaners here spare sponge sponge and them and they're just in little baskets that I got in pennies and I think they were only like three or each so I have two of them there. And then these are just bags that for brushes. This is actually from Inglot. When I won a competition for them, I got the luxury brush set. So I got that and like these brushes, I think there were six brushes in total. So that's what that is. So yeah, this then is just off of Wish or one of them. I thought they used to hold brush in, I don't really use it anymore. So yeah, that's kind of it. I know that wasn't too exciting like I told you I don't have that much and what I do have I keep reusing so I don't really well I do I pick up a bit here and there but I don't go buying all the time and um, just because I keep using the same stuff over and over but that's basically my layout I kept getting asked 
where I do my recording, where I do um, my makeups and stuff like that. So this is it, I sit in front of the backdrop with the vanity lights in front of me and my camera's attached to my ring light. So I'll actually turn this around and just show you. So this is it. So my camera's in here in the ring light. There's the mirror around and I'm just sitting back here by the backdrop. So that's basically it. I don't know, can you see? Yeah, there's better. So that's it, like there's the backdrop in the ring light and the mirror, but I just have it facing me with the ring light on. Yeah, so that's it. That's where I do my recording. That's where I create these looks and everything is just laid out in front of me. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you like videos like this, um, please let me know if you want me to create more anything at all. Um, you can let me know in the comments underneath this or over on my Instagram.